Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the 31st episode of the Sira stories from the life of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Today's episode is special as we will learn about a beautiful event. This event took place in the second year of Hijra, around two months after the victory of the Battle of Badr. This event was the marriage between two beloved family members of the Prophet Wasallam's household, Fatima radiallahu anha, the youngest daughter of the Prophet Wasallam, and Ali radiallahu an, the son of Abu Talib. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with both of them. They were raised by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and had a very special place in his heart. I would like to talk to you about Fatma radiallahu anha and her childhood first before explaining to you her marriage ceremony. Fatima radiallahu anha was born in the year 610 in Mecca when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam first received the revelation. She was a very special child, a gift to him when the revelation started. The Prophet wasallam fell in love with this baby girl immediately when he saw her. Fatima resembled her father in nobility and was the one who supported her father and spent three years of childhood in the boycott with her parents. Fatima was very young when her mother Khadija radiallahu anha died and then after her father Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam took charge of the duties of a mother also for her. The death of her mother had created a void in her life but her father filled it with his love and tenderness. When Khadija radiallahu anha passed away the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was viciously attacked by the enemies of Makkah. Once he came home wounded, and Fatima was the one who stepped in to protect her father. She was just ten years old at that time, and everyone knew her closeness to her father. How many of us today show our parents this kind of kindness? We can learn from Fatima's strength and loyalty what it means to be a great and noble child. We don't have to be in extraordinary circumstances to be extraordinary children to our parents. It only takes loyalty and respect. Fatima radiallahu anha was well known for her compassionate and gentle nature. In character and personality, she bore a most striking similarity to her father. She was mentioned with some beautiful titles like Azahra, the respected one, in reference to her radiant face, and al-Batul, referring to her pure character. Now let's move on to the childhood of Ali radiallahu an, who was also an honorable family member of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ali ibn Abu Talib was born in Makkah in the year 600, about 10 years before prophethood. He was the son of Abu Talib ibn Abdul Muttalib. At the age of 10, Ali became the second person after Khadija radiallahu anha to accept Islam. Ali was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam's cousin and he grew up in his household. Ali, who is also known by a number of titles, some reflecting his personal qualities and others derived from particular episodes of his life. He participated in almost every major battle of the early Islamic history as a standard bearer of his army. His valiance and fearless courage earned him the nickname of Asadullah, that means the Lion of Allah. Now let's go on with the marriage. Fatima was 18 years old and she was full of energy and passion. She had a personality that matched her father more than anyone else. This did not go unnoticed, and many men started to come forward to ask her hand in marriage. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made his selection. He selected 
Ali ibn Abi Talib to be the spouse of the daughter of his most favorite slave, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He willed for Fatima bint Muhammad and Ali ibn Abi Talib to be married. And as decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ali asked Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for Fatima radiallahu anha's hand in his marriage. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's face lighted up with a broad smile and he asked Fatima radiallahu anha for the acceptance of the proposal and she answered yes to her father. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Ali radiallahu anh to make preparations for the wedding. Their wedding was simply beautiful, unlike the lavish weddings of today. On the day of their wedding, their guests included all the wonderful companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and other Ansar and migrant friends. The food was very simple. After their wedding, the guests took them from Medina to the outskirts of the city, where Ali had found a home, as he could not afford a place in the city. So began the married life of Ali and Fatima. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with both of them. They had a very simple house. Fatima was very much in love with Ali and content to live with him in poverty, as he was not a very rich man. Her marriage, unlike her three sisters, was marked by financial difficulty. Her sisters were married to wealthy men. They lived considerably different lives than Fatima lived. Yet, she had the great honor of living near her father, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and ultimately, her lifestyle was most similar to him. Ali made living by drawing water from the well and carrying it, while Fatima made bread to sell. Grinding flour and working with her hands were hard tasks for her. So one day, Fatima went to her father to ask him if he could get her a maid from one of the prisoners of war. He told her that he would give her something better than a maid. And guess what? He told her to recite Subhanallah, which means Glory be to Allah, 33 times, and Alhamdulillah, which means All praise be to Allah, 33 times, and Allahu Akbar, that means Allah is the greatest, 33 times, before going to sleep, and it would give them the energy and the strength they needed for the upcoming day. Fatima and Ali recited these as God every night before they went to sleep, and it gave them unbelievable strength. So we should also follow this example to stay active in our daily life. Now, just as their marriage had some rough times, like all marriages do, the overall marriage of Ali and Fatima was a happy one. The Prophet wasallam would say that he would pass by their house and he would hear their laughter from far away. Ali used to recite romantic poetry to Fatima, many times funny ones that would make her laugh. Their children were raised in a household that was full of love. They both had four children, Hassan, Hussein, Zainab, and Umm Kulthum. The couple was very devoted to Islam and integrated Islamic principles in their daily lives, and so did their children. Their marriage lasted until Fatima's death eight years later. Fatima radiallahu anha and Ali radiallahu an's marriage possess a special spiritual significance for all Muslims because it is seen as a marriage between two great figures surrounding the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Both of them had a beautiful marriage, an exemplary love story for us all. With this, we come to the end of today's episode. Join me in the next episode to discover more of the seerah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the people around him. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel, Zil Noreen.
Jazakallahu khair for watching and assalamu alaikum.